welcome back again to another Java short tutorial. And in this tutorial I will explain how to create a data class in Java and how to retrieve and set the necessary data in this class. So let me first start by creating an actual class. In this case not something like example1 or example2, but in this case I'm going to create an actual class called student. And this student is this class is going to contain data concerning a student. So what would that for example be? Well, private uh, string name, uh, private string address, um, private integer h, even though in reality you wouldn't use h for something like that. Private string phone number. And lastly, let's do private string student number. Okay, so right now I've set the basic data uh, for this particular class, but since all the variables are private, they cannot be accessed through they cannot be accessed directly uh, when you create an object of this, which I will show in a moment. So one of the tricks you can do, or trick is actually not really a trick, is you can get set, you can create getter and setter methods to respectively read and write the data of this class. So how can you do that quickly? You right click, choose source, choose generate getters and setters, select all the attributes you want to create getters and setters for, and then press OK. So there you go, all the get and set methods of a class. Okay, so now how can I start using this class? Well, for that you have to instantiate the class. And to demonstrate that, I need to create another class. So let's create another class. Uh, in this case, I'm going to call it student test. And unlike the data class, this one does have a main method. So okay, so inside the main method, I'm going to create what is called a called a instance of the class student. So that's going to be student student equals new student bracket bracket semicolon. Okay, so now if I open up my auto completion, you can actually see that all the get methods that I've defined for retrieving the data and all the set methods that I've created for writing data are there. So if I want to uh, write the, some of the data there, well, I could for example say uh, set name John Snow, set address Great Wall 1, um, set the age, let's say 35. It's kind of old for a student. Let's change that to 22. Uh, set the phone number. Well, uh, let's assume that he would have a, a Singapore number. There you go, it's just a random number. And lastly, I need to set the student number. So let's say ABC1234. Okay, so now basically the data is set, and to prove that it is set, let's do a print. For example, uh, student name plus student dot get name. or his address student dot get address lastly one more um, let's say the student number is student dot get student number okay so now let's see if we run this so basically if we run this the object gets created, or the class gets instantiated, some values are set, 
and after that the values are printed using the get methods okay so now let's run and I'm not sure why that is not working probably clicked wrongly there we go, yes I clicked wrongly so again student name John Snow student address Great Wall 1 and student number ABC1234 okay so that's how you create a class use getter and setter methods to respectively read and write methods um, how you instantiate a class and actually read and write data so yeah that's the basics of of creating a data class and instantiating it see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.